self-help books have become commonplace. The self-help section of bookstores, actual and online, continues to grow, and the topics these books address have become more and more diverse, particularly over the last decade. Depending on the issue being addressed, some people choose these self-help books over more traditional in-office or virtually delivered therapy. If you choose this route, note that anyone can write a self-help book, but it doesn't mean that they're qualified or even give good advice, so choose your materials carefully. My name is Dr. Joni, and I'm a registered psychologist with expertise in all things related to psychological health and resilience. I'm also the CEO and founder of MyWorkplaceHealth.com, and I'm a national expert in psychological health and safety in the workplace. In this video, I'll be talking about self-help books, how to determine whether or not using them may be right for you, and how to find the books that will be the most helpful and effective. Many people who have not tried therapy before have some apprehensions about making a regular commitment to undergoing treatment with a therapist. Now this is understandable if you have no reference point for what therapy may look like, if you have limited funds or coverage for this treatment, which is unfortunately the biggest barrier for most people, or if you're not yet emotionally prepared to start to peel away the layers on some significant issues in your life. Some may consider undertaking some self-directed work with the aid of self-help books, but don't know where to start, are hesitant about the quality of these materials, or are even overwhelmed by the amount of material that's available. So, where should you start when thinking about self-directed work and finding the right self-help book for you? Start by doing your research. Look for recommendations from friends, read online reviews, and look to reputable psychological or mental health websites that offer suggestions. Here are a few guidelines to follow as you're undertaking your search. Find books that have been around for some time and that have solid reviews behind them. The internet is a wonderful thing to read up on reviews. Look for books authored by licensed professionals where the author is described as being registered or licensed in their jurisdiction of practice. Look for words such as evidence or research-based. If you visit my website and go to the resources section, you'll see that I've listed a range of freely available and downloadable treatment materials that I've co-authored. I've also listed useful websites that offer other recommendations, as well as a list by topic of some of my favorite books and treatment manuals that I recommend. But it isn't just about finding the most appropriate resources. How do you determine whether or not self-help books will be right for you? Now, certainly the level of benefit you obtain from self-help materials depends on a combination of the nature of your presenting issues and what you're dealing with and the severity of those issues. Research supports the benefits of self-guided work for the common mental health conditions, anxiety and depression, when those issues are in the mild to moderate range of severity. As presenting issues move into more serious levels, for example, if you're experiencing a significant impact on your ability to fulfill your day-to-day -day obligations and tasks, then self-help materials are most helpful when they're augmented by the assistance of a health professional who helps you work through your difficulties. Remember that you can meet a therapist once or twice to get further information without necessarily having to undertake a long intensive course of treatment. In my practice, we see many high functioning individuals who find a session every four to six weeks is enough to help keep them on track with other work that they're doing independently in between sessions. What self-help books have you found helpful and what factors did you consider in making your decision? share in the comments below. Thank you as always so much for your time and I hope that you found this video helpful. I'd love it if you took a moment to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and follow us on social media for more helpful tips.